The 40-year partnership between the Medford School District and the YMCA for after-school activities has come to an end. The Medford School District is now working with Innovation Learning and Kids Unlimited. NBC 5's Anna Weeks has more on why the partnership ended. Anna? Kristen Craig, this week Medford School District signed a new after-school activity contract with Innovation Learning and Kids Unlimited. The new programs will start when school opens back up in the fall. Innovation Learning, a nationwide after-school program, will now hold after-school activities at five Medford elementary schools. Medford's Kids Unlimited will have the other eight grade schools. That means the YMCA in Medford will end its 40-year partnership with the district. It was really surprising and shocking, disappointing, that we learned the news that they were not going to have the YMCA back as their after-school provider in Medford. The Medford School District says they were looking to make after-school activities more equitable across the board. To create more of an extension of the school day as opposed to a child care service where kids are getting academic um, help, help with homework, where the tutors are directly connected to classroom teachers. District spokeswoman Natalie Hurd said the new after-school programs combine learning with fun and recreation. The program is developed by former educators. However, the YMCA says they still offer activities of their own. And a lot of fun outdoor activities, lots of camps. There's a rafting camp and theater camp and chef camp and all sorts of just really uh, fun, engaging, enriching activities. Innovation Learning will now serve Abraham Lincoln, Griffin Creek, Hoover, Jacksonville, and Lone Pine. The other elementary schools will be under the Kids Unlimited after school program. The programs will have similar pricing as before. Information on registration will be sent to the families in July. The YMCA never had an official contract with the Medford School District. Live in studio, Anna Weeks, NBC5 News.